Hey guys, thanks for joining me, and if you like what you see, please subscribe. Hello friends, welcome to Sharp Ends. Today I have for you a review of this SBR by designed by Les George, made by ProTech with the Ultim scale on the side. Uh, when I first got this, was the first drop that they had done Ultim uh, show side scale of this knife, and I've had it for a while now, and I couldn't carry it in my state of Pennsylvania because automatic knives, and this is an automatic, are illegal here, or they were until January 2nd. Now it is legal to carry one. So I've been carrying it a lot since the beginning of January, pretty much this whole month, and I feel ready to finally do a review of this knife now that I've had a chance to carry it. Um, ProTech is American-made and known for their uh, automatics, but they also have a very famous model in Malibu, which is a flipper knife, which is awesome. Uh, this is a little knife. It's not very long. It's only about... Um, it's only about, let's see, it comes in at about less than, a, about two and a quarter. So as far as length goes, if there's length concerns, this is a smaller one. I don't think it's California legal. I think California is less than two inches for an automatic, but uh, still a nice reasonable length. The Ultim itself is beautiful, and I really like this color, and I really like this. Ultim, if you don't know, is a made it's a kind of plastic made for ultralight high durability high strength for mainly originally for aircraft for uh, planes and uh, it's become a little bit of a fad lately in the edc knife community as well as other things i even have a ultim um marlin spike here and i've got some of their beads too so you know it's just a cool material nice uh, feel to it. It doesn't feel like regular plastic. It's much more durable. The SBR is a Les George design, and he has this distinctive, he usually has this jumping at the top of his knives here. And you can look at any one of his designs and say, oh yeah, that's Les George. Uh, a very practical type knife shape and design to it. I'm liking more and more of his designs, and I actually think I'm probably going to end up getting more of his stuff. This is made out of S35VN, which is a great steel. The clip is fine. It's a typical ProTech type clip, and the screws on it are recessed, which is great. The whole knife is put together almost like it's an integral. The backside here is aluminum but uh, the screws only come from one side, so they go into the housing, which is the aluminum side, and you've got just these two screws here and the pivot to take apart. I've actually never taken this apart. I'm not necessarily afraid of taking apart a automatic knife, but it works so well the way that it came that I found no need to do it. I'm not sharp in this either, and it's still very sharp. I tend not to strop knives that have a DLC coating, this diamond-like coating here, because it can uh, tarnish that, uh, but I might do that soon, or I might just go ahead and put it on the KME and use my Arkansas stone to bring this up to a little bit of a sharper finish on it. I like the way that this carries. Uh, my I have big hands, so my last pinky finger doesn't tend to quite get on it, but I don't mind that. Um, it disappears in the pocket. It's a deep carry clip. The styling on it is great, and the action, as far as it coming out, surprises people who haven't really had an automatic before. Now, because the blade itself isn't very heavy, kind of uh, unlike the TR3, let's say, side side, uh, which is a side opening automatic by ProTech as well, because there's less weight in the blade, it doesn't have that thing where it, it wants to, like, it pops so hard that it almost wants to fly out of your hand. That being said, even though this is small, if you give this to someone who doesn't know anything about this, about automatics, uh, it could surprise them. So, you know, just be really careful who you hand an automatic knife to, is what I would say. It's a fairly light knife. I mean, you've got for the materials, you've got aluminum, and then you've got the Ultim. However, the balance remains uh, pretty well. It's still, uh, it's, it's, it's right, it's balanced right in here. So it's got perfect knife balance. The weight overall on this, let's take a look is 2.8, so a very light knife. 
considering that it's an automatic and it's got two and a quarter inches of knife length to it. Um, the, um, I can't really say anything bad about this knife or its shape. I mean, I've had this for a long time. I've been in my pocket. It has a couple of snail trails on the Ultim, but it, nothing, it's not too glaring and it's not too bad, honestly. Um, let's see. So just to recap, what I like about this is I like the materials it's made out of. Great knife steel, great designer. Virgos are great. Balance is great. It's a light knife. Um, it's now legal in my state to carry, so I get to carry automatics, which is awesome. It doesn't look too tactical or scary. I mean, it does look nice. It looks like a nicely designed piece of work. But it, at the same time, doesn't have that tactical feel of like a microtech or, you know, something super aggressive. Um, and the advantage of having an automatic is that you can open it one-handed and sometimes you're working with things in your hands and you just need your knife to deploy. Now, of course, you can use the thumb sub too, but this is very nice, comes right out and it's locked in there. And it's locked until you push this button again to fold it back up. And I can actually close this one-handed uh, on my pants pretty easily. I just hold a button and then I depress the blade and fold it in and it's locked. So it is a one-hand one close as well, for me at least. A lot of people in general want to close it with their hand like that and that's fine too but if you're up on a ladder and you want to pull out a knife this is going to be just fine for you so um yeah that's all i have i think just want to point out this is les george's symbol right there so if you ever see that you know you're getting a quality knife protech is an awesome company definitely support them those guys are great i think they're based in texas uh i hope they're based in texas maybe they're one of the california knife people i can't remember but regardless, great company, great knife. These Ultums are running more and more. These uh, SBRs are running more and more. And uh, the price point isn't that bad for what it is. Uh, there will be a link in the description. So if you liked what your bit, this video today, I really appreciate it. If you liked and subscribed and told a friend, and if you didn't like it, tell an enemy, but please just tell someone. Thanks so much for joining me on Sharp Ends. And I will see you next time. Have a good one.